Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Happy New Year! Here are five fun facts about the number 2025. 2025 is a perfect square because 2025 is equal to 45 squared. These are called square numbers because they represent the areas of squares. If you had a square with a side length of 45, then its area would be 45 squared, which equals 2025. Since we have a perfect square year, we have another fun little fact. If you were born in the year 1980, then at some point in 2025, you will turn 45 years old. So the square of your age is exactly equal to the year. This is not a common occurrence. When is the last time this could have happened? 2025 is equal to 45 squared. So the last year that would be a square number would be 44 squared, and that's equal to 1936. Someone would have had to have been born in 1892, so their age would be 44 in 1936. That was the last time you could say the age squared would be equal to the year. When is the next time this could happen? Well, 45 squared is equal to 2025, so the next time will be 46 squared, and that is equal to 2116. In order to be the appropriate age, you would then have to be born in 2070, so you would be 46 in the year 2116. Fact two. Let's take the number 2025 and split it right down the middle. So we have two numbers, 20 and 25. The sum of these two numbers is 45. But wait, 45 squared is exactly equal to 2025. This is truly a remarkable fact. Now there are other numbers with this property. Let's take the number 81. If we split it down the middle, we get the two numbers, eight and one. Eight plus one is equal to nine, and nine squared is equal to 81. The next number with this property is 3025. If we split it down the middle, we get the two numbers 30 and 25. Their sum is equal to 55, and 55 squared is equal to 3025. I was curious what these numbers would be called, and mathematicians have come up with a unique name for them. They call them numbers which, when chopped into two parts with equal length, added and squared, result in the same number. Fact 3. 2025 is equal to the sum of the first nine cubes. 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube plus 4 cube plus 5 cube plus 6 cube plus 7 cube plus 8 cube plus 9 cubed. The last year that could have this property would go up to 8 cubed, and that would be the year 1296. The next year that will have such a property will go to 10 cubed, and that is 3025. Now there's another fun way that we can write 2025. It is equal to the square of the sum of the first nine numbers. So we have the square of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9. It turns out this is not just some sort of coincidence we have for 2025. This is in fact a general formula. The sum of the first n cubes is equal to the square of the sum of the first n numbers. This is such a surprising formula. I remember the first time I saw it and I didn't even believe that it could be true. So why is it that the sum of the first n cubes is equal to the square of the sum of the first n numbers. There is a beautiful visual way to understand this formula. Let's start out with the sum of the first n cubes. Imagine we have a red block that's one by one by one. This will be one cubed. Now let's make a yellow cube that is formed by two by two by two of these individual blocks. Let's form a green cube that's three by three by three of these individual blocks. We then have a blue cube that's four by four by four and a purple cube that's five by five by five. 
the sum of the n cubes will count the total number of cubes in this diagram. Think about the green cube. We have 3 by 3 by 3, so there will be 3 cubed or 27 cubes in the green cube. The amazing thing is we can rearrange all of these individual cubes into a square. So we have a height that's just one block tall. Now we take this red block and start out as the corner. We can then rearrange the yellow cube. We take the bottom layer and we make it part of this diagonal and we split up the top layer so that we have one that's two by one and we have another that's two by one. So we form a rectangle here. We can do the same thing for this green cube. We then continue another L shape with the blue cube and another L shape with this purple cube. So all we have done is rearrange the cubes from one arrangement to another. So the total number of cubes in both arrangements will be the same. How many cubes are there in the bottom arrangement? Well, one of the sides measures one plus two plus three plus four plus five, and we have a square, so it'll be the same dimensions on the other side. So we could consider the total number of blocks in this figure will be the square of one plus two plus three plus four plus five. And this has to exactly be the same number of blocks that's in the top, which is exactly the sum of the first n cubes. Therefore, these two quantities are equal. And thus, our formula is true. We can also extend this little calculation. Let's take a look at the bottom diagram and let's turn it on its side. We actually can rearrange this to be a multiplication table. Think about the times table going from one to nine. Each of these colored blocks will represent the areas of the numbers that are represented in this multiplication table. So the sum of all the products, which are highlighted in yellow, will be the square of the sum of the numbers from one to nine, which equals 2,025. Wow. Fact four. The prime factorization of 2025 is equal to three to the power of four times five squared. Interestingly, we have the digits two, three, four, and five. So we've used the numbers two, three, four, and five in an arrangement to get 2025. But we don't have to stop at the numbers two, three, four, and five. What if we wanted to expand this? We can easily add the numbers zero and one because we can add one to the power of zero to this product because one to the power of zero is equal to one. We now have the digits going from zero to five in some arrangement, which will be equal to 2025. But we can go even one more step further. Let's take this power of zero and attach it to seven and we'll have one to the power of six because one to the power of six will be equal to one. Seven to the power of zero will be equal to one as well. We now have the numbers from zero to seven arranged in some fashion to be equal to 2025. Wow. There are also other clever ways to write 2025. Here is one such way. We have 2025 is equal to 12 times three plus Four plus five multiplied by six plus seven multiplied by eight plus nine. We have the digits going from one to nine in some arrangement, which will get to 2025. If we want the digits to be in descending order, 2025 is equal to nine times eight plus 76 plus five to the power of four times three plus two times one. Fact number five. Start by writing the number one one time. Then write the number two, two times. Write the number three, three times, the number four, four times, the number five, five times, and so on, all the way up to the number 45, where you write the number 45, 45 times in a row. Now let's concatenate all of these digits to be one single number. Here's the question. How many digits are in this number? Let's start out with these single digits, which are the digits going from one to nine. We of course have one one plus two twos plus three threes, 
all the way going up to nine nines. Then when we want to count two digit numbers like 10 to 45, we're going to have to multiply each of these by two. So we're going to take two multiplied by the quantity 10 because we have 10 tens plus 11 plus 12 and so on all the way up to 45. All that remains is to evaluate this sum. This is a very straightforward calculation and you will find out that this is equal to 2025, which is equal to 45 squared. So if you write the numbers one, one time, two, two times, three, three times, and so on, all the way up to 45, 45 times, you exactly get the number has 2025 digits, which is equal to 45 squared. What an incredible property. Here's to a happy 2025. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.